Yes, hello everyone. Now, um, for today's episode, I will be looking at diffusion. So, of course, um, diffusion would fall under the category, of course, of substances move across cell membrane. That, of course, is some is of course substances entering or, of course, um, leaving a particular cell, whether that cell is an animal cell or of course if it is a plant cell so um, movement of substances um, cells need to move different substances into and out of the cell in order to function properly um, a perfect example would be um, oxygen for example now oxygen is needed inside of cells for example a animal cell and of course the reason why oxygen is needed is to of course help with the process in terms of releasing um, energy so on um, the process by which that oxygen for example would enter the cell of course would be by the process of what is known as um, diffusion now um, as for the principle that governs um, diffusion of course It is the movement of molecules. Sometimes, of course, you can use um, particles. You can say substances from a region where they are in higher concentration to a region where they are in lower concentration. Now, let's focus on um, these key terms here. Higher concentration basically means from a place where it there is, of course, a lot of that particular. Um, substance that particular gas or that particular um, particle for example um, looking at the diagram here now if you're using the term higher concentration this particular region here would of course be the place of high concentration for this particular crystal which of course is known as um, potassium um, to a place of lower concentration which would be somewhere along here in terms of um, this beaker right here all the substances are made of particles I mean that is something um, factual that of course everybody should know um, and next very important concept about um, the fusion is that the fusion will continuously um, take place until what is known as equilibrium is reached um, equilibrium basically mean equality looking at this last one here in terms of the diagram as you can see the entire water of that um, purple looking um, color and as you can see the entire water basically have the same equal amount of color right across so that is when equilibrium is reached basically in terms of these um, particles looking at this diagram only this section here you will see the spreading taking place at the first diagram you will only have the crystal at this particular um, place so this would be the place of high concentration again and over here the entire section would be the place of low concentration moving right across to the last diagram you'll realize that um, the particles evenly spread out throughout the entire container here so this is when um, equilibrium would basically um, reach so once equilibrium is reached then of course um, the whole diffusion process of course would um, stop in gases and liquids these particles move around randomly so continue on diffusion now we're going to use these diagrams now um, what really happened um, with diffusion is that the particles um, collide against each other and in terms of colliding it's there's no order in which the of course bones against each other that's why they said that the particles um, move randomly so let's say for example we're concentrating now with the blue now this um, first um, particle that I'm pointing at now it will for example collide with this one then of course it will collide with another one there and it just keep on colliding and randomly it is not like it can it will collide with this one first and it will make a complete circle and then collide with this one no it collide um, randomly so there is no set way in terms of how they of course collide it is just that 
all of these um, particles they want to know they want to have what is known as their individual space so once it bunks up on a next one that is beside it, and of course it will move across and find an individual space that is why this diagram now is showing it showing you that they are of course they are spreading out much more go across here you realize that they are evenly and right to the last diagram you'll realize that eventually all of the particles spread out evenly across this particular square so that's when equilibrium would basically reach the fusion take place when particles are not evenly distributed so that's the next very important concept that you can use to of course um, explain um, the fusion um, perfect example if you're um, at home for example and you're cooking and all of a sudden you would smell the leak or the um the gas leak then when you go into the kitchen you realize that in terms of the concentration um the amount of gas you smell it is ice in the kitchen there for example now after a while then the entire arm um, also would be evenly distributed in terms of the scent of um that gas that of course would comes from um the cylinder so that's when equilibrium would basically um reach and the last point I hear eventually the particles will spread out evenly and of course the equilibrium will reach. The particles move along what is known as um, a concentration gradient and the concentration gradient normally exists once there is an imbalance in terms of particles. Um, the bigger the difference in concentration between two regions the steeper the concentration now i'm going to compare these diagrams if you're comparing um this first one with the second one then of course you would say there is more concentration gradient here because there is much more um in balance this one have a lesser concentration gradient so in terms of speed substances normally move faster whenever the concentration um gradient is really high in terms of the differences between um different between the particles in terms of where it is moving um, from and of course the diffusion takes place more quickly when there is a steep concentration gradient there um diffusion and cell membrane now of course the cell membrane of an animal cell for example is what would basically um, control the movement of um, substances looking at the diagram here we're focusing on oxygen and of course um, carbon dioxide so the blue represent oxygen while um, the red dots represent carbon dioxide as you look at the arrows diffusion um, inwards that of course would be the oxygen as it is simple saying that cells for example would need oxygen to go or enter the cell as a result of um, diffusion while on the opposite now carbon dioxide would need to exit or leave the cell by the same process that of course which is known as um, diffusion the cell membrane is a barrier with tiny pores or holes in it so of course the cell membrane is what will control the movement Small molecules such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, water and glucose are able to diffuse through. Large molecules such as starch and protein um, cannot. So um, that's why now the cell membrane is considered to be what is known as a semi-permeable membrane. At times it is referred to as a selectively permeable, a partially permeable or a partly permeable membrane. So that simply means that the cell membrane will select what it want to um, enter the cell and that's what this um, pointer here speaks of cell membrane is called uh, of course partially permeable um, membrane diffusion in the body now some examples of diffusion after breathing in oxygen diffuses into the blood vessels of the lungs and that's, this is what you are seeing at the diagram here now this diagram of course um, explain a concept that is known as um, gaseous exchange and this is a section of the human lungs which is known as um, the alveoli where 
the human body exchange um, carbon dioxide for oxygen in that the human body will allow carbon dioxide to leave the blood vessels the blue dots here and of course enter the alveolus that you're looking at now and out of the human body whenever you breathe out while at the same time um, oxygen which of course would breathe in from the outside would now diffuse from the, this alveolus right across to this particular blood vessel there so that's a perfect example of um, the fusion that takes place inside the human body so if you're being asked a question to give an example in terms of the fusion taking place inside the human body you can just say simply say that the diffusion are the movement of oxygen um, from alveolus into surrounding blood vessels or the movement of carbon dioxide from surrounding blood vessels into alveolus inside the human lungs of course um, so diffusion will so carbon will diffuse from blood vessels to the ear sac which of course is the same thing as the alveoli into the lungs Digested food also passes from the small intestine into the blood capillaries by diffusion. So that's another example in terms of diffusion taking place inside um, the human body. Now in order for diffusion to take place there are certain um, conditions, environmental conditions that must be present in order to speed up this um, very important process in um, human or animal for example membrane in the lungs are very tiny for example so what they are saying is that um, the wall in terms of the alveolus and the wall in terms of the blood vessel they are extremely thin what that is saying is that the thinner um, these walls are the faster diffusion will take place and that is what you really want to take place inside the human body you want um, the blood vessels to get the oxygen as fast as possible so that those um, blood vessels can transport take the oxygen to the places of the human body that need the oxygen right away for example um, your muscle cells and of course the brain cells Um, the next um, very important condition that, that must be present is the surface area. You need to have what is known as a large surface area to of course speed up the rate of diffusion. Um, the diagram now is showing you again a section of the lungs that of course is known as um, alveoli. Now we have millions of alveoli inside um, the human lungs and of course if you realize the blood vessels the blood capillaries they are neatly wrapped around the alveoli and as you can see it is a network of blood capillaries so instead of having just one or two or three blood capillaries going around um, these alveoli here you, you have a network so what that is saying is that the more surface you have to of course allow in diffusion to take place the faster it would be and that makes sense it is just um you comparing um something in life in terms of let's say for example you have a school going out on a trip instead of having um three buses carrying um the entire school then of course you'd have um 10 or even more um vehicles or buses that of course would speed the process in terms of transportation so the more avenue the better it is in terms of the movement of um, that particular substance um, so yes that should do it for today's um, lesson or today's episode as I said I'm looking at diffusion and of course it is the the, the main heading is the process by which substances move across cell membrane so um, guys please remember that of course along with these videos I have tons of past paper questions or practice questions for you. You just simply need to um, click on the link down the description section um, there to go to my website where, of course, I have a lot of questions. And again, um, the website it is www.femiwellnesstips. That's um, the exact website, but of course, the link is down there in the description section of this video. Um, please stay tuned for a lot more um, videos in terms of teaching about human and social biology integrated science or just anything about um, the human body. Um, the next episode that I will be look uh, that I will be shooting, of course, will be um, me looking at 
um, and next process by which substances move across cell membrane and that will be osmosis then of course I will look at active transport so once again thanks for viewing now please remember to click on the subscription button if you're new to my to the channel and again please remember to share the video with your classmate with your teachers or just about anybody who want to learn something about the human body so once again thanks for viewing i'm out of here